It's Saturday, October 6th. Let's play the Booster Box game. Guilds of Ravnica launched. How does this game work? You know how this game works. I'm not doing the graphics this time. Let's just get to it. I open up a box. I paid $100 for the box at my local game store, by the way. And I'm going to see if I can get $100 in rares and mythics and foils and maybe some uncommons if there are any worth more than $2. They got to be worth more than $2 to make it worth my while to sell them, handle them, ship them, and everything with seller fees. But I will try and sell $100 in cards worth $2 and up from this booster box, and if I can do so, I'm buying another box. I will keep doing this as many times as I can until I open up a box that is not worth what I paid for it. Will I open up just one box as I have in the past, or will I open up six as I have in the past, or somewhere in between as I have in the past? Let's find out.
right, let's do box number two. I've sold the cards from box one, and now we are at Sunday. It's only been a day. Prices haven't changed too dramatically or at all in many cases, but let's see what these packs have in store for us.
swish on to box three. It's Monday morning and I'm wondering what we have in store. That last box really got us home with all the shock lands, and I do like that this set has a lot of value at rare. Again, these aren't $40, $50 cards. In fact, the most expensive card in the entire set is only 20, but there's a great deal of four to $8 rares, which means that you're usually gonna get your value for the pack in a lot of these packs. Here we go.
you are not Lazav, the guild master. So, what does Lazav look like? Lazav is a shapeshifter. No one knows their true form. Right, so it's me. I'm Lazav. You can't prove I'm not. Lazav. But nothing lasts forever, not even opening up boxes on the Booster Box game. Remember, the point of this game is not for me to convince you that you should play it at home, it's for me to convince you that you should not play it at home. Booster Packs are for draft and sealed. If you want to go draft, get some Booster Packs. If you want to build a sealed deck at your local game store or just to play against some friends, get some Booster Packs. But if you're looking to build build the best deck for standard or get some singles for a commander, then buying a booster box is likely not going to get you there. Yes, you might luck out and get some real value or some spicy pulls, but chances are you are going to get a box just like my last, which is not worth the money you spent on it if you're just cracking it for value. I waste my money so you don't have to. But you know what isn't a waste of your money? Buying the singles that you need at your local game store. Or, if you're so inclined, maybe you'd like to take that dollar or two and use it to help out a charity, such as the one I'm championing with Card Kingdom. Card Kingdom is doing a charity fundraiser called The Chalice, which I am a part of, because The Chalice is a Magic the Gathering fundraiser, which is raising money for big brothers and big sisters of Puget Sound. This is a fantastic organization that seeks to help youth through mentoring programs. And myself and the other Magic the Gathering community members are all going to try and help this organization just by playing Magic the Gathering. This will be live streamed on Twitch October 20th to the 21st on Card Kingdom's channel. So what kind of magic are we going to be playing at this event? Well, we're doing a Guilds of Ravnica booster draft, that's for sure. But another event we're doing, the one that I'm really excited for, is our Modern Block Party, in which we play modern decks against one another in a competition. However, these modern decks are not the typical fare, as we have had to draft the sets that we want to build from. So every set that is modern legal, we have each each taken turns drafting, and we're in the process of doing this right now. Picking, I want Innistrad, I want Scars of Mirrodin, I want Eighth Edition, so forth and so on, and putting together the various sets that we can draw cards from to build our modern deck. Who goes first? Who goes last? Well, it's based on our donations. So if you have someone that you really like in the competition, or you know, one of the other competitors, I, 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 yeah, and you want to help out the big brothers and big sisters of Puget Sound with a dollar or two, just donate to your favorite competitor and that will advance them in the rankings in order to pick the sets that they want to get to build their modern deck. But there's other rewards and bonuses to be revealed that the competitors will receive based on fundraising. So champion your champion at the Chalice and be sure to tune in October 20th to watch all of us compete against one another.
And this video is brought to you by my and many other people's local game store, Card Kingdom, a brick and mortar pillar of this community, as well as the Patreon support of viewers such as you. These are the people that keep Tolarian Community College going and growing strong. So thank you.